In a major blow to Prime Minister Boris Johnson, Chancellor of the Exchequer Rishi Sunak has quit office. His resignation came moments after Sajid Javid stepped down as well as the Health Secretary. Both cited the lack of confidence in Johnson's leadership as the reason behind the decisions. More resignations followed, putting Johnson's premiership in a tense position. The PM swiftly acted to recover his authority and appointed Nadim Zahawi as the replacement for Sunak. But the new chancellor inherits a plethora of challenges amid the cost of living crisis that needs urgent attention. There have been fears that the UK economy may fall into a recession later this year if the government does not act immediately. So that said, here are some of the challenges that Zahawi is facing. Inflation Inflation in the UK touched a four-decade high in May. It reached 9.1%, which is the highest since the 80s, and it is expected to rise further. The Bank of England has estimated that inflation will exceed 11% in autumn after the revision in the energy price cap. Last week, Bank of England Governor Andrew Bailey said that soaring inflation will hit the UK harder than other major economies. And due to the soaring bills, millions have cut down on non-essential expenditures to have enough money to spend on essentials. Fuel Petrol and diesel prices have been flooding with record highs in the past few weeks. This is despite the global prices coming down. The government's 5P fuel duty cut has failed to make any significant impact as it hasn't really reached motorists. Concerns have been raised over several retailers not passing on the duty cut to customers and the Competition and Markets Authority is now looking into the matter. What's more, the government hasn't shown much interest in another fuel duty cut to bring down prices. Food The Russia-Ukraine war has disrupted exports of grains, cooking oil and other commodities from two countries. This has led to shortages and threatened to push hunger further up in the UK and around the world. In May this year, Bank of England Governor Bailey issued an apocalyptic warning over the rising food prices, saying that they could have a disastrous impact on the poor. Last month, the government pledged aid worth £372 million for countries hit by the shortage and high food prices. Tax Cuts From Wednesday, the threshold for national insurance has been raised from £9,880 to £12,570. The Johnson government says it will save about 30 million workers up to 330 annually and 2.2 million people won't have to pay any national insurance or income tax on their earnings at all. Calling it the single biggest tax cut in the last 10 years, the government hopes to provide some relief to people amid the cost of living crisis. However, there have been demands for further tax cuts. At the moment, with record high inflation and higher interest rates, there isn't much room for the Chancellor to announce massive tax cuts. Windfall tax The Russia-Ukraine war hurt most businesses, but there have been a few whose revenues skyrocketed because of this. Oil and gas companies, for instance, posted record revenues as fuel prices touched new highs following the crisis. Former Chancellor Sunak had earlier resisted demands to impose windfall tax on energy companies, saying that it could damage investments in the North Sea. Although he did take a U-turn later on and announced a 25% one-off levy on the industry's profits. How do you think Zahawi will fare in Sunak's place? Let us know in the comments and hit that bell icon. I'm Holly Shields for Kalkai Media.